All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Uh, as you can see here, we got a new corner of my room. I got a new haircut. Pretty soon we're gonna have a new schedule. Uh, hopefully posting semi-regularly as it is March now. And uh, I think, you know, things are starting to warm up here and we'll hopefully get it on the water soon. Uh, so around this time of year, I usually uh, re-spool my line, you know, check, make sure everything's doing good. And I'll check my tackle bag and make sure I got all the essentials ready to go. Uh, however, this year's gonna be a little different. I got a new bag. This is the Bass Pro Stalker Side Pack, I think. Sling, Sling Pack it's called. Um, and it seems pretty nice. I got this for Christmas. Uh, and it's exactly what I was looking for. So previously, I, you know, the last couple years now, I think it was, I've been using this bag, this, this backpack. That's been great. It's huge. I, feel, I can fill it with whatever I want. However, I want to downsize. I'm tired of bringing everything around and only using the same few baits. So this is perfect. This should be the exact size for everything that I need on a trip. It has two 3600 size packs in here. Uh, these are just the standard Bass Pro ones. They're not bad. I think it'll be just more than enough to hold all that I need, which is just terminal tackle. Because in the other front pocket, that's where I'm gonna be putting all my soft plastics. I really don't use hard baits as much as other people do. I might need to put some spinner baits somewhere, uh, something like that. That's my one uh, kind of tough option, but other than that, I really only use soft plastics. Uh, so I'm gonna show off this a little bit, tell you what it's all about, and then we will fill it up and I will show you what I keep in my bag. So, uh, yeah, so inside is just enough room for those two 3600 uh, boxes, uh, which is all I need, but if you're looking to, you know, put something else in there, I mean, you may be able to fit a couple different things, but it's not a big bag at all. It does have this nice front pocket here. Uh, front pocket has a little mesh pocket on the inside. Uh, that does the trick. I will be putting my soft plastics in there and I assume some tools as well. Um, and like I said, it's a side bag. So you just put it over your one shoulder like this. Right there like that, as you can see. So then you can actually just bring it over, pull out your baits if you really need to. Um, now, it does have a side, another strap here that goes around your waist. Uh, if you're a big guy like me, that's not going to work. It's just not coming off. It's just too short for some of my size. Um, so keep that in mind if you're a bigger guy. Uh, but other than that, I don't think I really need it because it's not going to be that heavy of a bag. Yeah, so on the tag here, they say it's a water-resistant, rip-resistant uh, nylon material. Um, so we're going to bust this tag off here and we will start filling this bad boy up. All right, welcome back. As you can see, we have jam-packed this thing. Um, however, I think we've maximized our space pretty well for what I'm using it for. Um, it's gonna be springtime here soon, so I'm really using finesse baits. A lot of uh, really, really small, um, you know, micro baits for panfish, and uh, even some uh, some small net rig and stuff um, once bass season finally opens up. So that's kind of what I'm using this for. Um, as if I'm going on some bigger lakes, things like that, I will take more baits, but this is mainly just for hitting those ponds and rivers on uh, after work or just on a weekend morning. You know, something small, something light, something easy to use. I'll start off with our front pocket here. Um, and this is just my tools, number one. Uh, as I've stated before, I always try to bring a pair of pliers with me pair of forceps for the panfish, and a pair of some nice scissors to cut line. And in this jam full pocket, I also have my drop shot hooks. Um, yeah, these are the VMC hooks that I picked up at the tackle swap, uh, just size two, you know, pretty regular. Eventually these are gonna be in a actual um, drawer, but I figured I'd put the label on just to show you guys. Then we have my sticko. Uh, this is just the green, basic, really basic, um, Bass Pro sticko as well as the Bass Pro Helgramite. These things have lasted me a long time and they get quite a few in a pack. Uh, yeah, both pretty good baits to use, especially in the small ponds I find. And that Helgramite, man, even though it's kind of big, I've caught in bluegill and everything on it. I also have this bad boy sitting in there. This is a little Strike King spinnerbait kind of thing. This is the only spinnerbait that I have in this bag. Um, I just don't have the room for it and that's actually one of the problems that I have with it. But uh, this will do. This will do for now. 
Okay, so that's it. That's our front pocket. As you can see, like, I mean, I'm telling you, it is jam-packed. It's just a little couple things in there. So don't expect to keep much in that front pocket if you're using the main pocket as I am. Um, this is something that I'm having a problem with. Keeping soft plastics in here is hard. They're just kind of loose in that front pocket, which is okay, but you know, every time I take a tray out, I'm going to have to worry about them all falling out. Um, either way, I'll tell you about these trays. They are frustrating. For what I need, they're going to fit and it's going to be okay, but uh, the, the fact that they're not really that versatile and you can't make like a nice big kind of like square... Like you can't make like a, like a nice big square spot for something like a spinner bait, so you're stuck here. Um, but anyways, it is what it is. I'm gonna use two of these right now, but I just thought about downsizing to one tray, making more room for my plastics. However, uh, this one I just got some drop shot weights in there. Uh, I'm gonna go really heavy on the drop shot this spring, so that's mainly what I got in here. Uh, we got some of these. These are from Ugly Boy Baits, a local bait company. Um, we have here sink or swim drop shot weights like I said just a lot of different kind of weights as well as um, the micro chatter bait which I don't actually like but I have the space for it so I'm gonna give it another try here the micro chatter bait kind of sucks and some of my favorite jigs uh, these are the Northland fishing tackle they're a metallic eye jig pretty standard thing uh, one eighth ounce, and these are great with a black donkey tail for smallmouth bass. I love them. I'm going to continue using them. Had to pick up a fresh pack. Uh, yeah, they're pretty good. So like I said, I'm kind of running out of room for soft plastic. So I, what I've had to do is store these smaller bags actually in the trays. Um, and this one here is I just picked up today at an outdoor show. It's the Bait Breath. Um, what is this called? I don't see a name on here, but it's the yeah, it's a bait breath bait, um, and it looks like it's JDM, um, but it looks pretty juicy, man. It looks pretty good. So as you can see there, it's got like the uh, the you know, nice little tail there. It's got some uh, some things in the body there sticking out. It looks like pretty decent for that micro drop shot that I'm gonna be trying to throw. Um, and you can see you could even throw this on like a small 132 ounce net. So should be fun to use. Like I said though, I'm having to put these bags in the trays, which is not ideal, but it's gonna have to work. Yeah, so I mean, that's tray one. Like I said, I can probably downsize this into one tray um, because that's all I got in here. I really am not bringing much at the start of the season. I'm mainly just focusing on panfish and then once bass season opens, uh, I'm still just kind of learning, figuring it out, kind of warming up. And uh, it's not until I get into this late summer that I get the big worms and the big baits out. So this right here is definitely my more used tray. Um, it's got everything I need in here from my, my small micro jigs to my uh, big Texas worm, Texas rig worm hooks. Um, so I'll show you off right now. The first little pocket I got here, that pocket is holding my uh, bigger sized uh, mule jigs. I believe that's the 132 ounce. I can't tell you for sure, but um, yeah, just a decent little jig there. I love them. I use them all the time. They had to be in the box. Apologize for my dog. I also have a nice jig in there. This right here is a finesse jig. Um, it actually has a trailer on there. That trailer that I'm using is the Yum Craw Bug. Yum Craw Bug there. It's one that I have used only on that actual jig. But I really just haven't found another hook ring that it really works well with other than um, the finesse jig like that. But it's a decent little plastic, kind of cool. It's kind of a cool little plastic there. Um, it's got that craw body, almost looks like one swimming through. Um, as you see, the back end has that tail there. Uh, yeah, kind of neat, got some nice claws on there. I just haven't had anything to use it on, but that jig, it does look great. So I'm gonna keep throwing that and hopefully I can catch something on it. Now I also have a whole row of jigs in this tray. Um, so we got here our 164 ounce mule jigs, real small, small Ned style bait. Um, I have some 115 ounce finesse bullets. These are nice. I haven't thrown these yet. I picked these up recently. And uh, yeah, they look cool. Kind of like a uh, Texas rig EWG there with a little weight on the end. Um, these look like they could be really fun. 115 ounce, the perfect size for some Ned style baits, which I throw a lot of. 
I also have here some Callens Crappy Jigs. These are 132 ounce, pretty standard jig. I burn through 132 ounce jigs like crazy. I throw them all spring leading into bass season and even through a bass season, I'll fish them all the time for every pan fish as well as bass. Um, I think they were great with a lot of small plastics. I got another tray there, Soli Bass Pro XPS Tungsten Jigs. Like I said, these are kind of like those, uh, that Z-Man that, uh, Z one that I just showed. Um, these are my favorite jig ever. I went in a store and I bought a whole bunch of them one time because they're always sold out. They're just really good quality. A little on the pricey side as they are tungsten, but uh, you don't lose them much since they're weedless. And uh, yeah, they work really great. I got them in the 364 ounce and the 332nd ounce. I'm mainly throwing the 364 ounce, but yeah, love these jigs. And the final row is just some more 132 ounce jigs. Uh, they've got the Callens in red and the Bass Pro in uh, black with a white eyeball. Um, yeah, 132 ounce jigs I'm constantly using, especially before bass season. And as I'm thinking of, of mainly using this uh, in the start of bass season, um, I'll use the wacky rig quite a bit. So I got these weedless wacky rig hooks. Um, not bad, a little hook keeper on them. The hook keeper's kind of useless, I find, but uh, hey, I bought them, so gonna have to use them now. And I have here a white micro chatterbait. Uh, I kind of hate this thing. Um, it's just uh, kind of garbage. It does not put off enough of a thump as I think it's just too small. Um, however, like I said, I've already purchased it. I'm gonna try and keep using it and hopefully get a fish on it. Then I got uh, lots of Texas rig hooks. Um, you know, pretty standard thing, EWG. I think these are a five aught. Uh, just, yeah, throw that with a Senko. Can't not go wrong at all. And I'll throw that definitely into the summer, but I start off at the start of bass season and just will always fish that. Then I have the pre-rigged uh, Texas rig hooks here. I like these. I tend to not, I'll either throw weedless or very, very seldom, but I'll throw these. Um, and I just don't like bothering with uh, putting weights on my line and, and retying when I do all that. So I just find these a lot easier. So that's what I got in my second tray. Um, this is strictly a pan fishing bass bag for me. So I don't have to bring much. I can keep it really simple, um, really light, and uh, I'm hoping this is gonna work out good. So now for what I find to be the most interesting part of it all, uh, these soft plastics. Got a lot of uh, drop shot looking worms in here. Got some, uh, some, some, some big Sankos and uh, some panfish baits as well. So we'll start off here, I got the power bait. Um, I have a video where I pulled these out. These are the hit worm and a four and a half inch. Um, like I said, I have a buddy who uses these. He does great on them, so I decided to pick up a couple packs and I threw a bat pack in this bag here. I've also picked up the jack all here. Um, this is the clone fry and a thread fin shad pattern. These look pretty juicy. Uh, like I said, drop shot. See how it works out. Classic. I got here the classic Yum Dinger. This is in the green pumpkin and chartreuse color. Uh, I think this is a five inch. Yeah, five inch. Um, yeah, I love these things, specifically the Yum Dinger. Um, just a good, cheap, solid plastic worm. Strike Zone, uh, flat tail watermelon kind of drop shot worm. Uh, pretty standard thing here. Uh, I have a video showing these off as well. Uh, gonna be throwing them, giving them a try. These uh, Lucky Strike Curl Tail Worms in a motor oil color. Pretty standard curly tail worm. Um, nothing to say there, but it will be in the bag. Z-Man, these are the TRD Tickler Z. This is by far my favorite Ned bait. If I had to choose one Ned bait, it would be this one, which is why it is the one that is in my bag. Um, yeah, I just love these things. Lots of videos catching a bunch of smallmouth on them. They work great on those uh, EWG jigs and uh, just a ton of fun to use. Mule fishing. Love my mule fishing stuff. This is the Mule Minnow in white. Um, yeah, 2.2 inch. I'm excited to try this one on the drop shot. Like I really like a finesse drop shot. Um, let's see how that goes. It did not work great as a uh, on a jig, unfortunately. So. Uh, hopefully it, it excels on the drop shot like I think it might. So more micro baits. We got here the Power Bait Ripple Shad. 
Uh, this is in a fire tiger color, two inch. These are pretty decent pan fish and bass. Um, yeah, nice little paddle tail. Crappy Max stubby butt. Video showing that off. Another good little soft plastic. Mule fishing, the donkey tail. This is the junior. Really good pan fish bait. I love that. And the chartreuse. Uh, then we have the full size donkey tail in that black color. Another really good bait. And we have some four inch yum dingers. This is just a plain uh, green pumpkin with a red flake. Um, yeah, just a nice standard worm, just in a smaller size. And I got here the missile baits. Uh, this is the bomb shot. This is another new bait I picked up just today. And it looks pretty juicy. Um, yeah, just like a black thing, got a nice little tail on there. Uh, and it should be nice to throw. So uh, we'll see. Gonna put that on a drop shot probably and see how that goes. Like I said, this is gonna change throughout the year as to what I carry. Uh, I'm starting off just going real drop shot heavy, just trying to learn it and uh, see how to use that. This is gonna be my first time throwing it. So I've obviously put a bunch of drop shot baits in the bag to start off with. Um, but as it alternates and maybe into the summer season, I will share what I use then. And uh, going into the fall, same thing. Um, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be a good change to use a smaller bag, so. Yeah, so thank you for watching everybody. Uh, glad you checked it out. Please like, comment, and then subscribe if you want to see some more. Uh, all that fun stuff. And I uh, hope you have any good luck out there. I think most of us, the ice is kind of going away. Maybe you're still in ice fishing season. Uh, let me know how your fishing adventures have been going. Thanks for watching and uh, take care.